This is Emily Apple, a single mum from Cornwall. This footage was filmed by police surveillance officers. They were monitoring activists last year at a protest against the King's North Power Station in Kent. When Emily asked a police officer to identify himself, she was pinned to the ground, handcuffed and arrested. I had a notebook and I was writing down police officers' numbers, um, what they were doing, and the two people I was with were taking photographs. And this officer didn't have any identifiable number on his lapel. And so I asked him to identify himself and he refused. What, what, what are your numbers? Well, you do actually have to tell me if someone requests your number, if the public requests your number, you do have to give your number. I called my friend over and I said, please can we get a photograph of this officer? He's refusing to identify himself and I'd like to make a complaint at a later stage. I'd love to speak to this officer. So I it wasn't until we ran out. Yes, I am. I just want to... Um, I'm just get, getting... There. Where's the officer, yeah. please? No number. The first shot she tried to take was blocked by the officer, and then when she went to take a second shot, she was grabbed and bundled across the road. Within seconds, myself and my other friend were also on the floor being restrained. This one Blake had his hands round the neck of um, one of my friends. On my throat! Camera called him. And, and then he sort of came to me and sort of pushed my head down. When he stood me up, he um, put his hands round my neck and he's showing my face to the camera. And then he sort of pressure points me in the neck. What? Me? What? What? And it was very, very sudden, sort of very violent and aggressive. Emily's photographer, who was also arrested, was Val Swain, a mother of three from Cardiff. I was literally grabbed and dragged across the road. I was pushed down on the floor. They were, uh, you know, they, they were quite aggressive and uh, I think quite... Uh, uh, caused me a, a fair bit of discomfort. Jesus Christ, you bastard, get off it! What, what? My fucking foot! I'm not on your foot. Well, you you are on my out. foot! You stop kicking at us. Can you come and photograph him stamping on my foot? Can you come and do that? The entire arrest is being videoed, as you can see. Arrest for what? Stating a photograph? Obstructing officers. Obstructing officers how? You have you no right to grab people from inside the climate camp and drag them out here and do this. That is completely outside your remit. Emily and Val are members of Fitwatch, a group opposed to police surveillance units, known as forward intelligence teams. Our purpose of being there was to document what was going on. We take photographs of the Ford Intelligence team, we watch the watchers, we turn the tables on them and we take photographs of them as they take photographs of us. Now we went to Kings North because we knew from previous experiences of climate camps that the police were very keen to document who went to them. As the surveillance footage shows, Emily and Val were immediately identified by police as being members of Fitwatch. Got the pitch watch, pit watch people now coming out of the, uh, out the camp. I think they knew who we were and they didn't want us monitoring them. They didn't want any accountability to, for what they were doing and they just wanted to get us out of the way. They restrained me through handcuffs and also um, these restraint belts that they wrapped around my legs um, so that in the end I, I was lying uh, face down in the dust of the road, completely unable to move and then thrown in the back of the van and taken to a police station. All this pain is so I don't hurt myself, is it? On three. One, two, three, three. Okay. Officer clear. Stop. Ah! 
Okay, all clear. Yes, please. At the police station, um, I was charged with obstruction of a police officer and refused bail. They um, didn't let me speak to my solicitor when I was refused bail. I didn't get to speak to her till the following morning when it was too late for her to arrange representation. Well, after we were arrested, we, we ended up being held for uh, four days in total, um, three of which were in um, Bronzefield Women's Prison. You know, it, it's horrible being sent to prison. You know, I've got my, my son at the time was four and you know, I was expected to be home to look after him. And I hadn't planned on doing anything really at climate camp other than monitoring what was happening with the policing. And I certainly hadn't expected to be remanded for anything. All charges were later dropped against Emily and Val. The pair have complained to the Independent Police Complaints Commission and investigators will review this footage as evidence. I think they've got away with this kind of policing across the board for far too long and we've let them get away with it and through whatever ways we can um, we're now trying to do something to hold them to account.